Atlanta, but that was not the case. Anyway, this video is about to um, am, but anyway, she, a lot of people find themselves coming to me after they got discarded and I have to really um, screen them out. And if I see that their energy is different and that they are trying, I will cut a little slack. I'll give a little grace. Um, but I will still keep a watchful eye because sometimes I feel like some people, they haven't got enough yet. They haven't got enough yet. And uh, if that's the case with her, then that's up to her to find out. I will not be involved. But I know for me, I'm not repeating any toxic or karmic cycles with anybody. I'm moving absolutely forward with my life. And when you do that, energy vampires will try to get your energy any which way. I know that nigga shit was standing up when he knew that I was parked in the driveway and I was coming to get some food. I know that I can feel that he still had feelings for me too. And he got mad that he ultimately got rejected. And his thing was because you rejected me because I never gave him any romantic, never indication of any romantic intentions with him. None whatsoever. It's just him and his colorist, dark skin, black male entitlement. That's what that was. Um, he feel like because of that situation that he was going to try to, um, he's, you know, a lot of them don't know how to take rejection. These kind of niggas don't know how to take rejection. Okay. So they don't know how to accept it. They have, they feel like they got to be every black woman's type, but they don't have no problem telling other black women, Oh, you ain't my type. I like my bitches like this, like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. But they, but black women have pumped their heads up so much that they feel like they the whole world's type. And if you're not into them, something got to be wrong with you. You got to be a gay bitch. Some this, that, and the third or whatever. Okay. Not knowing that the bitch they teaming up with. Anyways, so I also noticed some other weird stuff. Like I said, a couple with a dream that I had the other day. Um, and then uh, I saw this person's car that looked just like the car um, that uh, Fraudulene was driving. And this bitch came up behind me, like tailgating me for a little bit. Like they just, like first I was in, I was on El Segundo and, and Wilmington. They was in the turning lane like they was about to turn, right? Um, but I'm going straight. Well, anyway, the, the light turned green, so I thought this this girl was gone, okay? All I saw was a bun, but I saw a white BMW. So next thing you know, I'm, I'm getting into the left lane because I'm really trying to go on El Segundo. I'm really trying to go this way. So I um, I keep going. I don't like to do last-minute stuff because that caused an accident. So I go into the left lane, get ready to turn. This bitch come all the way from over here. She didn't even turn where she was turning at. She didn't even turn on women's head. She went all the way went behind me and I went like this. I look at the, um, at, at the rear view and I'm like, looking at the bitch, right? And then next thing you know, they moved they self. Cause I had my daughter in the front seat. So next thing you know, they, they want to, they want to ride behind me. Like they was mad or something or whatever. I don't know what the fuck that was. So I looked at the person like, I, I didn't look, I didn't actually, I didn't see the person's face because they moved so fast. I'm looking at, I'm looking at the top of their head and I see, I see it's a bun. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if that was her or not, but I'm looking like the fuck, you know, so they hurt and they got around and they just left. And I was just like, mm, that's interesting. That was um, one of those like synchronicity things that spirit tells me to let me know that to be vigilant of my surroundings and shit like that, that people might try to be spiteful if they see me. So make sure that it's a situation where I see them before they see me. I don't even know if that was really fraudulent, but that could have just been like a spiritual representation um, of, of her. Or, or whatever, but it's like, you didn't have to do all that, shorty, and I had my daughter in my car, too, see, I could have easily followed that bitch to where she was at, and been like, what the fuck is your issue, or I could have did that, right, but I didn't, because I have class, I have class, I have substance, something that a lot of bitches don't have, okay, so, anyway, that's how it is when, that's how it is when, um, when you starve out a uh, narcissist, when you don't give them anything, they will try, they want to get your energy any way you can. It is definitely a war for your energy. They will try any way they can. Even if you cuss them out, even if you do anything, they will, um, they will feed off of it. They need to feed off your energy because they're starving and you could see it on their faces too with some of them. You can see it on, on their faces that, that they're starved. 
You know what I'm saying? You can literally see it on, on their face. So, um, I think I know where it is. I said El Paseo. I'm going to, um, on my way to, uh, one of my, uh, my jobs to, it's one of these, uh, catered company lunch jobs or whatever. Um, come on, child. It's your scrawny ass. Honey. So, yeah, let me hurry up and get over to that side of town. Um, but, yeah, you know, that's what, um, that's how it be sometimes. Um, uh, I have no regrets. I'm not going backwards with people because honestly going backwards with people is, 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 is like shoving shit in your ass. And, um, I don't like to shove shit in my ass back in my ass. You know, once I shit something out and I wipe my ass and I flush the toilet, you know, that is that, you know? So some people, uh, you know, they, they want to backtrack or they haven't got enough yet. And, you know, I'm going to sit back and just, you know, watch the sparks fly. I'm, I'm not finna be, you know, I'm not finna yonder nobody. You know, I ain't trying to fix nobody's life. I'm trying to fix my own motherfucking life. And, uh, yeah, I know that they, I know that a Wesley gutter snipes hit his karma. I know both of them along with a slew of others, they know that's why they was quiet. And he was the only one trying to save face because their ego is a hell of a, hell of a drug. Ego is a hell of a drug. And you could try to save face in front of everybody, but I'm bitch. I know you got that work. I know you got that motherfucking work. I know you did. I know you got that work. And anything that you think you're going to do to me or pay anybody to do to me, it's not going to work. They going to get it and you going to get it because you're not spiritually justified. Nor are you powerful enough. Okay. You can't rap with me, period. And look at you. You don't have nothing going on. Remember when I got my car, motherfuckers was the shit. Motherfuckers the hip on me, man. When I got my fucking car and he saw it too, he didn't even say congratulations. He just looked by my car and just was like, and just kept going. So I know motherfuckers be jealous. They want to tell everybody else that you jealous, but they are the ones that's jealous. They're the ones that's, that be projecting onto people. They project pe onto people. Everything that they don't, the, everything, that uh, all the good qualities that you have, they will snatch that up and then they try to switch. It's, not, it's like body snatches. They try to switch bodies. They try to swap, swap souls and shit. They trying to take your essence, take your personality, your energy, whatever, anything that's good about you, anything that's magnetic about you, swap it, and then go around and tell everybody that they you. It's like a spiritual identity that they want to, um, every, every projection, everything that's bad, everything that's bad, bad with them, they project it. They don't say that you're the jealous person when in reality, in actuality, they, oh, they're the ones that's jealous. They're the ones that are jealous. They're the ones that's comparing themselves to you. They're the ones that that's having imaginary one-sided uh, competitions, uh, 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 Olympics and shit with your ass. You ain't even fucking worried about them. You competing with yourself. You ain't even worried about who's to the left, to the right, and who's behind you. You um you buying your own motherfucking business, trying to be the uh, better bitch or the better nigga that you was uh yesterday. And they steady clocking everything about you. You know what I'm saying? But they'll tell everybody else the opposite. Okay? Like for me, for instance, people try to judge my uh, sexuality, try to judge me for my, um, my, my mental health and all kinds of stuff. Oh, my God. People try to judge me for all kinds of shit. And then later on, they end up uh, claiming the same shit. So it's just like, what's the, what's the point? You end up doing it. So, so basically the whole time when people are trying to drag your character, they really dragging themselves. So it, it really is true. When you hurt people, you hurt yourself. You, when you hurt people, you hurt yourself. You really do because the person that you getting at, the person that you try to destroy, somehow you envy this person because they've been through what you've been through. And a lot of the stuff they've been through is the stuff that you have took them through. And they were still able to be resilient, still able to be good people. They didn't pussy their way out and became like you. They still chose to be beautiful people. They still, um, they, they, they um, chose not to project onto others. They chose to, to heal and learn from their situations. They didn't take the pussy way out like you did. And I think that's what really bothers narciss narcissists because they like them. Because the narcissist and the empath, they go through the same shit. But 
they kind of uh, process it uh, differently. One person say, you know what, I'm not going to put nobody else through that, through what I've, what I've gone through. I'm not going to do that to anybody else. And then the uh, narcissist is like, shit, I'm going to do that to everybody. I don't give a fuck. Oh, well, shit. Oh, well, they didn't do it to me, so I don't care. Whatever, shit. Uh, you know, but deep down inside, they really do want to be us. They really want to do, they want to really want to be us. And look, when you drop their motherfucking ass and they don't have access to that, they're no longer in the in the spiritual uh, garden of Eden. They no longer, they, they got kicked out of VIP. So they're not going to have that spiritual buffer no more. They're not going to have... Um, that that uh, good luck and blessings that they get for just being around us, okay? All right? And uh, I'm not saying this to be a pompous motherfucker or anything, but I'm just saying, yeah, I mean, real real motherfuckers know. If you if you a real, real ass empath, you real down, you cool as fuck, you know that you're a blessed person. You're a blessed magnetic person. And anybody that's around you, anybody that has the honor and the blessing to be around you, they'll be blessed too. You know, good things will happen to both of y'all because they're there. And if you, and if they were, and if, and if the person that you're hanging out with, if they get themselves caught up in a jam and they in a situation, just by being around you, the situation doesn't take a turn for the absolute worse. Okay. They provide protection, uh, for you and uh, like a, like a involuntary protection.